Let's learn how you can change your Apple Watch face based on time of day or the place you're at. Well, well, welcome everyone to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. And like I said, we're gonna be looking at your Apple Watch day and how you can automatically change that watch face in a number of different ways. We're gonna explore how you can change it based on time of day. So maybe you, it's one thing in the nighttime while you're sleeping or something, and then in the day in the morning at sunrise, it switches to one watch face. As you head to work, it'll change to another face when you get to the office. It'll change to another one when you get home, and then it'll switch to another watch face around seven o'clock, eight o'clock when you start to go into a workout. Whatever it is, based on time, location, and a number of other factors, we're gonna see how you can switch that watch face automatically. It is very cool. Now, Apple's actually had the ability to change watch faces for a while. You could easily swipe left or right. Super cool, super easy to do, just to jump between faces. Maybe you like one face during one time, like another face during another time. There's no reasons you'd switch those faces, just based on what you're doing. But as Apple continued to add watch faces, and as the possibility of third-party watch faces looms, it makes more sense to be able to change these automatically based on a number of different factors. And fortunately, with watchOS 7 and iOS 14, Apple made that a reality. So we're gonna look at how to do that using the Shortcuts app on your phone. So to get started, you're gonna need an Apple Watch running at least watchOS 7 and an iPhone that you have your Apple Watch paired to running the uh, Shortcuts app in iOS 14. So let's go ahead and walk you through this. First, we're gonna look at how to change your Apple Watch face based on the time of day, whether it's sunrise or a specific time. Let's go ahead and open the Shortcuts app, go to Automation, and then tap on that plus button in that top right-hand corner. Then you're gonna tap on Create Personal Automation, and like I said, we're gonna go with Time of Day. So time of day right there, you can choose sunrise and you can do before or after sunrise and you can do the same thing for sunset or spe specify a time or day. So in this case, maybe we wanna do it at 8 a.m. in the morning. And do you want this to happen every day or do you wanna happen during certain days of the week? Maybe you want this to happen just during the week or you wanna happen in a month or whatever it wants to be. Uh, you can choose weekly and just do like Monday through Friday if you're turning it to a watch phase that you wanna change like uh, when you start work, whether you're at home or going to work, you can change it at like 8 a.m. and change it again at 5 p.m., uh, anything like that. So you can choose the day of the week you want to do. In this case, we're going to do, say, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. We're going to go ahead and go to Next and tap on Action. In this case, we're going to do Set Watch Face, and you're going to see that's an option right there, a Set Watch Face, and it says Set Active watch face too and there's a blank spot for face just tap on where it says face and you're gonna get all the different watch faces you currently have on your apple watch so i have got multiple infograph modular california extra large so perhaps extra large i'm going to change that of course you can change those names or specify those in the watch app itself but we're going to go with that and really that is it so when this happens 8 a.m on weekdays is going to set my watch face to that extra large face that I chose. And right there at the bottom, turn off ask before running. That's going to allow this automation to run completely behind the scenes without having to ask you before it should run. So I don't want to ask me, I just want this to happen. I just want this to go on. So turn that off, tap on done. Now, 8 a.m. on weekdays, that's gonna run. Now you can create multiple of these. So that's just one we did just at 8 a.m. We can do another one for uh, 5 p.m. perhaps. And again, we wanna switch it just to certain days of the week. Next, and choose another watch face now. I can set it to any of the ones I've got in there. I've got plenty of watch faces to choose from. Um, set watch face, choose my face. How about the Chronograph Pro? That's always a good one. Uh, next, I'm gonna center off that ask before running again, and boom. So now 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. on weekdays, it's gonna switch back to a different watch face. It's gonna cycle through those. It's so easy to do and such a great way to automate that face based on the time of day. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it with locations. This is gonna work in largely the same way. We're gonna tap on that plus button in the top right hand corner and hit create personal automation. Now you're gonna go down to arrive, or leave, because you, when you're arriving in a place or leaving a place. So they've got a uh, gym, for example. So I'm gonna hit arrive, and then I need to choose a location. Maybe I wanna set it to change to a certain watch face when I get to the gym. So I can go ahead and say, hey, maybe Planet Fitness. Maybe subscribe to Planet Fitness, boom, done. So when I arrive at Planet Fitness, uh, anytime, go to next, tap on action, and you know what we're gonna do here. 
we're going to tap on that set watch face just like we did before. Set watch face and choose a face. There are a lot of different watch faces. I have a good one here. I believe it's my uh, simple watch face, perhaps, that I have a lot of shortcuts I use for starting workouts. So I can see like things like my heart rate and battery. I can see my, um, there's a shortcut there for jumping in and starting a workout. So it's really handy to have kind of all of those there on that face before you, I even start anything in an actual workout. So I can switch it to that watch face again. Next, set watch face when I arrive at Planet Fitness and I'm done. And you can set a different one too. So I can do when I leave Planet Fitness or when I leave the gym, I can set it something else. Or when I leave work, when I leave the house, when I arrive at work, when I arrive at the zoo, whatever location is, you can specify an actual address or find a building, but you can mark those locations in there and change your watch face based on those locations. So that pretty much covers it, but I do want to make sure you guys are aware of how much other, how many possibilities there are. When you hit that create personal automation, look at all your different options here. So you can do when you start a workout, that changes the watch face to something. So maybe that is your trigger to set the watch face to something else. Even if you're in a workout, maybe you want to switch to something. Or you can do based on a Wi-Fi connection. So instead of a location, if you don't want to grant location access, do it on Wi-Fi. So whenever you connect to your work Wi-Fi, set your watch face to something. That is an easy way to do it as well. There are low power modes, um, you know, battery levels, all this kind of stuff that you can use. So any of these can trigger that action. And you can even add additional kind of information in there, additional conditionals and stuff like that or other actions that you want to do. So you can tie change that watch face to other things as well. There are so many possibilities here with the Shortcuts app, with your Apple Watch and Watch OS 7. There's just so much you can do. Let me know what you guys come up with. Reach out to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and let me know what automations you created for your Apple Watch or share your Apple Watch face with me. That's new too in Watch OS 7. So go ahead and find that face, share it, and let me see what you come up with on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And I'll see you guys in our next video.